things about the ebook is that it's representation. Like a lot of us Latinas are not out here putting out all our business, being vulnerable, telling people what it is, and sharing those really vulnerable pieces of our lives that, Mm -hmm. you know, from the outside looking in as, let's say, uh, our mom's generation, even though your mom's different, but there's like elders from those generations Mm -hmm. Would be like, I tu si eres llorona, but why are you like, why are you being such a crybaby? Why are you sharing this? Why are you talking about your personal business? But I feel like this is important. It's part of how we are contributing to healing our generational traumas as a collective. I don't know, get like upset at me, but it's because you know what kind of a woman? Oh my god, in our culture to show off our body, wow! Yeah. And oh my god, you're like heavy set. You're like a plus size woman, so you would never dare. And and I wanted to be able to to show. Yes, confidence can look like this, but confidence also looks from within and it's also our minds and it's also through our healing. So I did that intentional. Uh, So it's, it's crazy that you mentioned that because it's so true. We're breaking so many stigmas on so many uh, levels when we are choosing to share our stories and we're coming from community that doesn't really do that or, or, or give us a microphone to do so. But we were just talking, we were literally talking about that. The fact that our elders like shame us for being us and like standing in our truth and just loving on ourselves the way that we are. A lot of the time, like I'll dress a certain way because I love dressing sexy. Like when I go out on a date, girl, I'm not going to tell you I'm out here showing a nipple or, you know, like showing my tata right. everywhere, but right. I love wearing me a freakum dress to go out and that makes me feel extremely right. sexy. And the, the, la, the tumba nota, like we say in Dominican Spanish, the thing that like lowers your vibe is that the elders are like, you're going to wear that to go out? You don't have nothing else Girl. to wear? I'm like, bitch, I look Girl. great in this dress. Like, why are you? No, I'm not changing. I'm, they're like, I said, they won't teach you. I'm like, mm-hmm, I have them and they're there and, and they look great too. So and, what do you want me yeah. to do? Yeah. <laughs> for my birthday, I'm wearing stockings, I'm wearing my hookah boots, and I'm wearing a black dress. And it was a bit short. Uh-huh. So I'm going down the stairs, and my mom is like, Que bestia, you're going to go out like that? She like, said, Que bestia? Like, no. That's my mother's favorite phrase. I love that. I know she's like surprised. Like, she'll be like, Que bestia, oh my God. Like, <laughs> yeah. and, so, and I'm like, What? And I'm looking at I'm like, like Esta sí que tiene unas piernas? She, and I'm like, <laughs> like you admire me a little bit because I get my legs from you. I but know. Like, oh my God, you're going to go out like that? And it's like, no, she's escandalizada. Like she nice. really is. Right. Like it always. So it, it always makes me laugh because I'm like, I'm 37. I've been hearing this for God knows how long. Mm-hmm. You would think at some point it would stop. I don't think it's ever going to stop, but it goes back to that thing that our elders are so stuck in this mindset and this mind frame. And it's so narrow still that any little thing that us modern women, modern Mm -hmm. mothers would do is so scandalous. And oh my God, like you're going to go out like that. And it's like, yeah, I am. It's all right. Look the other way. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So I totally get it. Mom, I just want to know.